Guess fucking what, guys? The NFL playoffs is here, and I am super fucking excited to go over. I'm going to make my predictions of who I think is going to win, who's going to be this in the Super Bowl, what the fucking matchup is going to be. It's going to be awesome. We're going to watch some teams choke. We're going to watch some teams overperform. It's going to be a lot of fun. Last year, the playoffs were a little bit underwhelming. I'm a little more optimistic about this year. I think we could get a couple of wildcard teams in the AFC or NFC Championship. I don't know, but uh, yeah, let's get into it, guys. The first playoff matchup, we got the Houston Texans and the Cleveland Browns. This one is going to be a very interesting matchup. We have CJ Stroud, the rookie, taking on Joe Flacco, the veteran. And I think the Texans defense for them to have a chance to win they really need to stop Joe Flacco. It's going to be tough, but they might get a couple of interceptions off of him. And C.J. Stroud, he has to play good against that Browns defense. And that Browns defense is going to be tough. But I think C.J. Stroud could still play really well against that defense. But at the end of the day, I think it comes down to experience. Joe Flacco has been in the playoffs before. He's led his teams to victory. And the Texans, this is their first time... In the playoffs with C.J. Stroud and D'Amico Ryans. I think the Texans, they were just kind of happy to be there. And I think the Browns, they have a lot more to play for. So, I'm going to go with the Browns in this one. They're just more experienced. Up next, Kansas City versus Miami. Miami, they had a chance to win their division last week against the Bills. They choked. They could have been the number two seed. But, guess what? They're on the road now. And they have to face the Chiefs at Arrowhead. It's going to be tough for the Dolphins. Tua did not play the best last week. He had a couple of interceptions. I'm not sure how he's going to do against this Chiefs defense. The Chiefs defense is really tough. But they do have Tyree Kill on the team. He could get his revenge against the Chiefs. And the Chiefs, their defense is really good. Their offense has been inconsistent this year. They've had receiver problems. But... They do have Patrick Mahomes, and Patrick Mahomes does win in the playoffs. It's hard for me to see the Chiefs losing this early on. I think they can beat the Dolphins pretty handily. I think they could beat them by, like, I don't know, like, 20 maybe. They did beat them in the regular season, so I got the Chiefs winning and moving on to the Divisional. The last wild card matchup for the AFC, we got the Bills versus the Steelers. The Bills... They beat the Dolphins last week to get the number two seed. I don't really think they've been playing like a number two seed, but hey, they have it here in the Steelers. They won last week. They kind of got a free win against the Ravens, and TJ Watt got hurt, so I think that defense is definitely going to struggle without TJ Watt on the field. The Bills, however, they beat themselves. I I've heard this before. The only team that could beat the Bills are themselves because they keep turning the ball over. They keep getting injuries. The defense has been iffy at moments. But I think the Bills win. And I think they take on the Chiefs. Now to the NFC side. we got Dallas versus Green Bay. And I think on paper, it's a very... Cool matchup, I guess. You got Jordan Love versus Dak Prescott, but I don't think the game is going to be that good. That Packers defense is pretty bad. They gave up 30 to the Panthers, and I know they looked good last week, but that was against the fucking Bears, so that's not too impressive. The Dallas offense is definitely going to be a problem stop with Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, Tony Pollard, and also the Dallas defense is good with Micah Parsons on the other side of the ball. I don't think the Cowboys are going to have too much of an issue trying to stop the Packers. I think Jordan Love will have a good game, but I think the defense is going to be the biggest problem for the Packers going into this game. This game right here might be the most anticipated wild card matchup of the weekend. You got the Detroit Lions in their first home playoff game since 92 when they had Barry Sanders on the team. And you have the Rams with Matthew Stafford coming back to Detroit, where they fucking banned his jersey for the game. I don't know if that's true or not, but I fucking heard that. Lions versus Rams, this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Both quarterbacks are going to try and get revenge on their team. Jared Goff used to play for the Rams. He's on the Lions. Matthew Stafford, like I said, he's going to try and get his revenge against the Lions. It's going to be it's going to be a really good game. I, I guarantee that. It's going to be very good. 
The Lions' defense, I think, is going to struggle in this game against the Rams' offense. And I think the Rams' defense is going to struggle against the Lions' offense. And it's going to be a high-scoring game, I think. But, but, it is the Lions. I think they're going to have a ha-ha Lions moment. I think they're either going to choke the game away, the refs are going to screw them over, or there's going to be one play, like a missed field goal or something. I'm, maybe that's what it comes down to. I don't know. But um, I want the Lions to win, but I can't 100% trust the Lions. And also, the third seed in the NFC hasn't won since, like, 2016 or something. I think the last time the third seed in the NFC won was the Seahawks against the Lions in, like, 2016 or something. But um, I'm going with the Rams on this one. I think they get the upset. And I think they take on the Niners in the Divisional. And now the least anticipated wildcard game of the weekend. Bucks versus Eagles. And honestly, none of these teams deserve to be here. The Bucks, they won their division after beating the Panthers. The worst team in the league, 9 to nothing. It's not like they fucking blew them out of the water. And you got the Eagles, who looked like they were going to be the number one seed. They started out 10-1. And they finished the year 1-5, and five, and they played absolutely terrible against the Giants in the last game. I don't trust the Eagles' offense. I don't trust the Eagles' defense. I don't trust the Bucks' offense. I somewhat trust the Bucks' defense. So I think it's going to be the Bucks' defense that gets them the win. They beat the Eagles. But also, if Baker Mayfield and the fucking Bucks' offense is clicking, Mike Evans looks like a god. I think it might be a blowout, but here I'm going with the Bucks. Okay, moving on to the next round, the divisional round. This is going to be a great matchup if this fucking happens. Ravens versus Browns. Joe Flacco taking on his old team. And you got the MVP, or is probably going to win the MVP, Lamar Jackson. This is going to be a great matchup if this happens. I think it's going to be an offensive battle. I guess it could be a defensive battle too, because both offenses and defenses are good for both of these teams. But, for some reason, for some fucking reason, I think the Browns, I think they beat the Ravens. I think they fucking do. And I think it's very weird to say because it's the Browns, but just imagine Joe Flacco like, 40-year-old Joe Flacco going up against his old team and beating them. Dude, the Ravens would be clowned on so badly, and I really want that to happen. And we got a rematch of the 2021 divisional round game that ended in overtime. It was one of the best games ever. Chiefs versus Bills, and... Both these teams are supposed to be better than they actually are. They've both had rough moments in the season, but hey, they get here, and they're facing each other, and I want to say the Bills get their revenge on the Chiefs, but honestly, I don't see that happening, because it's the Bills, and the Chiefs, they just play better in the playoffs, I don't know what could happen, honestly, this could go either fucking way, but yeah, I'm going with the Chiefs on this one, I trust the Chiefs a lot more than I do the Bills, so... In the AFC Championship, we're going to get the Browns and the Chiefs. And now, back over to the NFC side. The NFC side definitely is not as interesting as the AFC. But hey, we could get some good games. So, let's talk about the first one. Niners versus Rams. This one could be very interesting. However, it's going to be definitely tough to stop the Niners. They're built very well. They're a well-rounded team. The offense is good and the defense is good. The Rams, their offense is very explosive. Their defense is inconsistent. They do have Aaron Donald, though. But, um, I don't know. I think the Niners, they're just, they're just the better team. They have better players. And I could see it being a close one, but I also would not be surprised if it were a blowout. Because, you know, the Niners, they're a better team. And there's a reason that the Rams, they're the number fucking six seed. So, Niners, you guys are winning. You're going to the NFC Championship again. And this time, you're not going to face the Eagles. This time, you're either going to face the Cowboys or the Bucks. And now, speaking of Bucks, Cowboys, uh, yeah, this game, I hope it doesn't happen in real life because this game is, it's not going to be a good game. Uh, I'll, I'll guarantee that it's not going to be a good game. Uh, the Cowboys, 
I think they take care of the Bucks pretty easily because the Bucks they probably should have gotten past the wild card. They got lucky they were playing the Eagles, and the Bucks they're definitely not fucking making it to the NFC Championship with that fucking team. I think the Cowboys they win pretty easily, and they get to the NFC Championship for the first time since the 90s. It's been a long time since the Cowboys have been in the NFC Championship, but hey, here they are, and. They're going to face the Niners again for a third straight year. I'm just saying though, if this were the real AFC Championship in real life, I honestly don't know who would win. This could be a fucking coin flip for me. In this situation, they're going to be playing at Arrowhead again. And I would not be surprised if the Chiefs made it to the AFC Championship again. They've been there for like five straight years. I think if this happens, it'll be like, what, like six? I don't know, but yeah, the Chiefs... They're, they're going to be at home, they're going to be at Arrowhead, and they have they just always win the AFC Championship, man. They always find a way to get to the fucking Super Bowl, even with them playing this bad, I think I think they could still get there. They're, they're still the fucking Kansas City Chiefs. They definitely could lose. I, def, I, I could see that. I could see them fucking losing, either in the Divisional or the AFC Championship because of how they've been playing recently, how that offense is playing, but... That defense, you can't forget about that. That's also been playing good. And you can't count out Patrick Mahomes. It's like Brady. You can't fucking count him out. So, Chiefs, they're making it back to the Super Bowl. They're going to be playing either the Niners or Dallas. And now, Cowboys versus Niners in the NFC Championship. So, either... The Cowboys, they're going to get their revenge on the Niners, and they're going to make their first Super Bowl since the 90s. Or, the Niners, they're going to beat the Cowboys again, and the Cowboys are going to have a terrible play at the end again. And, I like the latter. I think the Niners, they could beat the Cowboys. It's going to be funny to watch the Cowboys lose again, because it's the Cowboys, everyone likes it when the Cowboys lose, when the Cowboys lose, America wins, and I think Dak Prescott, he's definitely going to have some mistakes in this game, so Chiefs versus Niners, we get a rematch of Super Bowl 54, this would not be my favorite Super Bowl matchup if it were to happen, but if this matchup happens, I won't be mad. I think it could still be a very good game. The Niners, they're going to try and get their revenge on the Chiefs for what happened a few years earlier in Super Bowl 54 in the Chiefs. They're going to try and become back-to-back -back champions the first time since the Patriots did it in 2003 and 2004. I think, though, I think the Niners are going to have the edge on this one. I think the Chiefs, if this happens, I think the Chiefs struggle in this game. And I think the Niners, with Brock Purdy, the last pick in the draft, they find a way to get it done. And the Chiefs lose to the Niners. And the Niners, they're Super Bowl champions, baby. They're Super Bowl champs. And I think the MVP is going to be Brock Purdy. That would be, that would be incredible if that would happen. I, I think it would be a great story. Brock Purdy getting the Super Bowl MVP and the Niners winning it. And, uh, yeah, that would give the Niners six if this were to happen. But, uh, what do you guys think is going to happen? Who do you think is going to make the Super Bowl? Tell me what you guys think down below. And thank you guys for watching this video.